How are you all doing? Yes, in this video we're going to be getting this cylinder head back onto the So let's get on with it Okay then, so firstly we're going to install this uh, cam chain front guide and uh, hopefully you can see down inside the engine there's a little a slot down the bottom Let's locate it in there and then there's two little slots at the top and slot it in there okay ignore that first bit because you can't get this uh, gasket on with the cam chain tensioner in place so I've just pulled the uh, cam chain tensioner back out and now we're going to install this and this is very easy to install because it's got a little L on this end and on that end it's got a little R left and right and obviously it's got the uh, dowels at the back so we keep the R to this side keep the dowels at the back Plunk the head gasket on very carefully It is a bit awkward with these twisty bits on the uh, on the cylinder head bolt prongs, whatever they're called uh, make sure you get the cam chain through there as well which I've forgotten about there we go and we want our locating dowels Let's push one in this side and one in that other side So, and then we're set for the cylinder head but not until we've put the cam chain guide back in like so right so all we have to do now is put this piece on the top All we have to do now is try to put this piece on the top. Something's not lining up. Uh -huh. So first, still that cam chain causing us problems. Cam chain tensioner. We have to make sure we put that in there first. Go to the locating holes and we're still not right so we're still not right because the cam chain tensioner not the cam chain tensioner the cam chain guide is in the bloody way so let's try that again yes so what you put in the cylinder right on? What you put in the cylinder right on? You've got to tilt it backwards to get the cam chain the guide into the holes. Keep your fingers out of the way because it do hurt. Then we've got to try and get the uh, cam chain through the head. Let's just try and hold it with one end. Oh yeah, fucker. Then 
tried to guide the cam chain through. And there we go. I just got to make sure everything's located properly. Which it isn't. Oh god. Because the cam chain guide has come out of the slots. If you can see down there. So I've got to lift it up again and try and push that into the slots. Great. Don't know how well you can see there, but let's try and get the head back up. Try and get that back into there. Now that's it, it's in. That was nice and simple. back out. Okay so that's that nicely fitted. Now we've got to go and find all the cylinder head bolts or nuts. So bear with me while I go and look for those. Okay so here's the bolts and stuff for the uh, cylinder head. Right then I'm thinking this spouty thing. Let's go on those two there. And I think uh, the cam chain has to pass through it. Just put that through there. Put it on top of those two bolts. Like so. And then I think this piece goes on top. Like so. Then we can get rid of this zip tie. Locate the two nuts mm. carefully because we don't want to drop them in the engine. Get number one. Number two. Then I believe all the other ten nuts have washers on the bottom. So it doesn't really tell you too much on in the book. I'm just sort of guessing all this. Just put these two on. So that'll be the middle four bolts done. And uh, so that's the four middle ones done. And all the others have washers on too. But I will show you the outside ones first before I switch you off. Okay, so the outside ones also have washers. One and two. But these have nice chrome shiny dome nuts. And I will say you have to get these nuts perfectly lined up before you can screw them on. Okay then, what can I say? I'm just uh, coming to the realisation of a massive mistake. I have made. So we were left off. We were finding all the nuts and washers for the cylinder head. There should be 12 nuts and 12 washers and there was only 11 washers. So I went in my other shed looking for the other set to because as most of you know there was two of these engines and uh, I managed to find the washer but what I also found well let me show you this first right at some point I was expecting to be putting this in while I'm doing the cam chain That's what I've been believing, why I've been doing all this. But while I was looking for the other set of bolts, I also found this, which was in the way. And if you can see, 
just there. That is for the alternator, not the cam chain. And it is also underneath the main crank. Oh my god. So yes, I'm sure you can all agree with how I must feel. <laughs> Over the moon. Can't wait to start stripping it down again. Yes. Feel like pulling all my logs out my log burner and letting the shed catch on fire. Stand outside rubbing my hands, laughing my head off. Uh, yes, yeah, so I went back, checked all the footage on my old videos of uh, putting the engine holes back together. I did my shock horror. I could see where I'm putting the main crankshaft into position, moving the chains in position. And that's not there. Whether it's a major problem, I don't know, but I'm not going to take the risk, obviously. I'm wanting to sell this bike on at some point, and you can't really sell it to somebody doing... This is a piece missing in the engine, mate. So, there you go. I must have said it a million times. I am not a mechanic. Don't follow what I do. Just give you a rough idea of how to do it. Definitely don't do it like this. So, hope you've enjoyed this bombshell of a video. It's only been a short one, but thanks for watching. Stay well, stay safe, and I'll see you when we're back in this position. I see you in another light, brother.